A local firefighter who refused to quit despite losing sight in one eye faces less of a blind side tonight. We told you about Dan Rendali last fall, and tonight, good news for this award-winning firefighter. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the details in this week's Street Story. Think of the worst emergencies in Providence over the past two decades, and there's a pretty good chance Special Hazards 1 was there. With Dan Rinaldi in the middle of the dangerous mix. But about five years ago, the vision in his right eye started fading from keratoconus until he was legally blind in that eye. A lot of the environments we work in are pitch black with smoke down to the floor. I can't see whether I have 2020 vision or 2500 vision. <laughs> The commendation winning firefighter and champion firehouse cook used one skill to help save the other. He won a $10,000 cooking challenge last year to pay for eye surgery not covered by his health insurance. You're watching them do it. Two procedures later, there are a pair of plastic rings implanted in his eye and big changes in what he can see. Beforehand with the right eye, I couldn't even see the E at the top of the eye chart, but I was actually able to read three lines down on the chart um, less than one week after the surgery. His New Jersey ophthalmologist predicts his eyesight will continue improving until the contact lens will bring just about everything back into focus. And it all happened in the blink of an eye, with Rinaldi missing a total of two days on Special Hazards 1. You know, I just came back yesterday, you know, right off the bat we had a house fire. And as usual, you know, you're going to get smoke in it, dust in it, and everything like that, and no problems. Rinaldi was, and possibly still is, a candidate for a disability pension, but he says there's no way he's retiring early and doing that. In his words, he wants to go the distance with two good eyes. On Washington Street in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.